I am going to basically start a new series with on, with on my channel. And it's also kind of sort of like a new challenge that I have set for myself. So this year, I have decided that before June 1st, which is when it starts to get hot and warm around here and it's time to start pulling out the summer clothes, I need to sew my little girl up at least two weeks worth of summer outfits. Now, with my husband's challenge, I have already began that process. All right, so it's not as bad of a challenge as I as um is to be expected. So I have five outfits already sold up. My goal for her is to have 15 outfits sold up by before uh, June, so by the end of May. And the reason behind this is I want to be able to create her unique wardrobe. And I want to sew her, um, I want to create her uh, summer clothes and be at least... 90% of it should be my makes. And I'm finding myself doing a very good job of sewing the kids' clothes. Now, the adult clothes, I need probably... I think it's because I can be more creative with the kids' clothes that I'm more interested in it. But my adult clothes, which is for myself, I'm going to set a different goal. But there will be another series. And I'll talk about that in another video. But in this video, we're going to talk about the little girls' clothing. Alright, so this series is going to be pattern reviews it's going to be it's going to talk about um basically things that i've seen posted and tried those techniques out was it worth it was it not worth it um such as sharing we're going to talk about um basically show you a couple of diys things that you can easily do and it should be easy and it should be easy peasy and it should not take that long for you to do. Because I am not into anything that's going to take me days upon days to complete. Especially for a little girl that's probably going to go in there and roll herself off in the grass. Alright, so in today's episode we're going to talk about Butterick's 5776. And I'll post a picture beside me somewhere. <laughs> And just to give you an idea of um, what she looks like. Now, back in March, I created this dress. And I kind of showed a quick picture of her in this dress as showing you one of the completed outfits that I've done for my husband's challenge. Now I'm going to talk about some of the more details of the dress that I just adored about this dress. For example, simple A-line dress. Um, this is easy color blocking if you want to do different fabrics for the different phases of the dress. This dress does not take long to sew up. In fact, the most difficult part of this dress for me was I decided to take from the shorts, the pockets, and add them to the dress. And here, you can kind of see that. I took it from the pockets and added to the dress. And it wasn't that it took so long for me to do it. First of all, I had to decide because there's no markings where to put the pockets at on the dress that will be um, easy for her and you know they'll be functional for my little girl and then I had to decide and make sure that it was on basically the same size on both sides of the dress and then um, basically just the constructions of the pocket itself which was easy um, but it did take me the most time I spent more time on the construction of both of those pockets than I did on the rest of the dress um, the dress is really easy. Basically, you can whip two or three or, you know, especially if you cut them all out at once, change up the fabrics. You can whip out two or three in, I want to say, not say a couple of hours. If you're a beginner, it's going to probably take you about three or four in the afternoon, in a, a, in a good afternoon. If you were just really committed to trying to whip out a couple of these dresses. Um, one dress though, it shouldn't take you more than maybe an hour, hour and a half to put together. Um, so I really like this dress. It's, um, one of those versatile dresses that you can go from basically school to church, um, doctor's office, playground. Um, it is that easy. I use simple cotton material, so it's light. Um, I really did want this to be an outside dress. Um, in the picture, you will notice that the little girl has a knit shirt on inside of it. Um, in the fall time, I do want to turn this into a more of a tunic type of, um, a more tunic type of dress so it can go into the fall. It's going to be with leggings and a knitted shirt that goes underneath this with a, um, in a solid color. 
Um, so basically I'm probably going to look at something for the, either the green, the orange, or the blues that I see in this fabric. Um, guys, uh, if I had to recommend a, uh, dress to get started on and that you will have just a, a big bang for your butt, because it doesn't cost that much to put, to, there's nothing that you had to buy. There's no zippers. There was no, um, buttons that you had to put on. I mean, if you really want to get into a basic construction of a dress that will give you a wow factor, then definitely I'll have to say Butterix 5776 is a great starter um, dress, and especially for the summer. So this is her, this is dress number one for my 15 dresses for the summer project. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate um, your. Um, I really appreciate your viewerships. Um, please put a comment below um, and put your suggestions below. I know one suggestion I had so far was the uh, t-shirt. I believe it's a t-shirt attaching a skirt to a t-shirt and making a, a t-shirt dress out of that. I'll be looking at that. I'm still looking at a couple of videos as to far as how to construct those. And then I'll do a review on whether it was worth it or, you know, how I felt about the process. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.